Hey there! Happy to introduce our new Configure Price Quote solution. We've designed it to allow you to attract more leads, close deals faster, and grow your business without the hassle of manual quoting. Let's dive in. This is a scooter customizer powered by Kickflip. By default, Kickflip includes an Add to Cart button, making it easy to sell your products directly. But what if you'd rather sell products through quotes instead of direct checkout? That's where our new CPQ solution comes in. As you can see, we've swapped out the Add to Cart button for a Get a Quote button. I'll play the role of a customer looking for a quote on an all-red scooter with a black seat and handles. Let's go ahead and request a quote to see how it works. A modal pops up, allowing me to enter my name, email, and a short message. I'll hit Submit, and from there, Kickflip will generate a quote based on my design. Great! The quote has been created and I can reference it anytime using this quote ID right here. If I hit Keep Shopping, I'll be taken back to the online store's homepage. From there, you can step in, follow up, and close the deal. Get a Quote is a setting you can enable individually for each product, giving you full control over which products you want to offer quotes for. We'll open the Scooter product since that's the one we want to set up for CPQ. You'll see the Add to Cart button on the lower left side of your screen, right here. Let's click on it. On the right side panel, you'll see two options, Add to Cart and Get a Quote. We'll select Get a Quote, and just like that, the Add to Cart button is replaced. Click on it and you'll see the quote request form in action. Let's hit Publish to make it live. Now, let's explore how you can use CPQ to convert quotes into orders. Let's head back to the admin home and under Orders and Quotes, we'll click on Quotes. Here, I can see a list of all the quotes that have been generated. Let's open the most recent one. You'll notice its status is set to Draft. It has the same quote ID we noted earlier and includes a detailed list of all the options the customer selected, along with the pricing for each. From here, I can click on Prepare Quote, which lets me adjust pricing and quantities for any option. I can also add a custom item price here if I need to include something extra. Plus, I can enter tax details right here. That looks good. Let's click on Finalize. From here, I can download a PDF of the quote and send it to the client via email. To keep track of everything, I can click on the More icon and select Mark as Sent, and just like that, a Sent tag is added. The quote status is now set to Open. Let's download it real quick to take a look. Looks great! Of course, you can customize it by updating your company logo, email, and address. To do that, just head to Settings and then Business and enter your details. All right, so let's say the client received the quote, and after some negotiation, they've agreed to pay $2,500 instead of $2,999. To update the quote, we'll click on the More icon here, then select Revise Quote. Now, we'll update the price to $2,500, just as agreed with the client, and then hit Finalize. Let's go back to the quote list. You'll notice that the original quote has been canceled and the newly revised quote is now open. Let's say I've sent the revised quote to the client and they're ready to finalize their order. Since we're using a Shopify store, I can convert this quote into a Shopify order by clicking right here. If I were using WooCommerce, this button would say Convert to Order instead. For simplicity, we'll continue this video using Shopify, but the process works pretty much the same way with WooCommerce. Let's click on Generate Shopify Order. A draft order linked to this quote has been created in my Shopify store. Now, let's head over to Shopify to secure payment from the customer. I can simply click on this Shopify draft order number and it will open directly in Shopify. From here, I have a few options. Let's say I'm on the phone with the client and they give me their credit card number. I can simply hit the collect payment button, enter their payment details, and finalize the transaction. If the client paid through another method, like sending a check, I can simply click on Mark as Paid to update the order status. The most streamlined and secure option is to send the client an invoice, allowing them to enter their payment details and complete the transaction themselves. Let's click on Send Invoice. I can enter the client's email and even edit the message, something like, Hi, here's the invoice for your custom scooter. Thank you. I'll click Review. Everything looks good. Let's send it. Now, Let's open the email to see what it looks like. There it is. Let's click the Complete Your Purchase button. 
From here, as the client, I would enter my payment details and finalize the purchase. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Nice, I've officially purchased my custom scooter. Now, let's head back to Kickflip to see what happened. My quote status is now accepted. And if I go to orders, I can see that an order has been created based on this quote. One more thing, you can also create quotes for your customers directly from the Kickflip admin. To do this, open up the Quotes section, click on the Add Quote button in the top right. Now enter the customer's name and email, then select the product you want to create a quote for. I'll choose the scooter again. Once I've finished the design, I can just click Create Quote, and the quote is instantly generated. And that wraps up our short video. You can purchase the CPQ add-on directly from your Kickflip admin, and the first 10 quotes are free if you'd like to give it a try. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out via live chat or email us at help at gokickflip.com. Happy selling!